Hey guys, so it is week six of my button quills growth and I just wanted to show a little video of them when they were babies before I went on to show you guys how big they are now but this was only um, a month and a half ago and they were this size and now they're almost full grown. They still have a little bit of a yellow around their eye but they're pretty much gotten a lot of their adult feathers in. And you could just see how tiny and cute they are. So right here, you can see that I'm feeding them chia seeds and chia sprouts. I sprouted these about a week ago. And they're finally grown long enough to where they started leaning over. And I just decided that I was going to put the whole tree in and see what they would do. I've heard from many, many people that giving raw chia seeds is very good for button quails because they're high in calcium and antioxidant. So the calcium helps them because these button quails don't live very long and the reason why is because they lay eggs as much as chickens but their body size to their egg is very small so their egg is like huge compared to you know their body size and it makes them not have enough calcium in their body so their bones get really weak and giving them the extra calcium helps them live a longer healthier life and then i also read on a different blog saying that you know if you sprout the chia seeds it's good for them too so i decided to sprout a bunch this is actually the second tray that i put in i sprouted two trays and then they finished the first one so i had put in the second one just to offer it to them and they still seem really interested so when i was at walmart one day i seen these organic microgreens grow kit and i thought hey maybe i should buy these for my quills so i bought two of them I bought a broccoli one and a rainbow one and I didn't really know what that meant but it came with two trays in each box and two packs of seeds and also like some cocoa core so I planted them about a week ago so like around the same time I planted the chias and then this is the rainbow batch and I did taste a little bit because microgreens are supposed to be meant for us to eat. So I tasted one of these and I didn't enjoy them at all but I decided that maybe my birds would like them. And then so this is the broccoli right here and this one looks more of like a chia looking type. <laughs> so I think maybe my birds would like that too but when I put it in the enclosure, they didn't really seem interested in it. And the mistake that I made was I mixed the broccoli microgreens with the rainbow one. And I don't know if it's because the rainbow one didn't taste good, but they don't really seem interested in it at all. So one question that comes up a lot in our Facebook button quail group is... How do I get my button quails to not be startled when I go in the enclosure? So right now you can see that I'm in the enclosure and they're not jumping around or you know popping up like popcorn up to the ceiling, right? How do I do that? Well, I just want to say that if you want to be able to go in your enclosure without your button quails being scared is don't offer them food all the time like you can't have food like the self feeders I had that in there and that's what made my bun quills not enjoy my company but if they know that you're the one that feeds them and you are the one that's caring for them they won't be afraid of you so my advice to you is do not use the automatic feeder with the food or if you do only put enough for that day so this is before i had changed the bedding for my button quails but this is my baby feeding the quails and 
they're not afraid of us at all and this is a clearer picture of the eyes if you focus on the eyes you can see that they still have like a little yellow fuzz going on right there and then this is after I changed the bedding so yeah they enjoy my company they aren't afraid when I go in to change their water or you know rearrange their cage I mean they did get a little scared when I was like totally changing the bedding but that's because I had to like lift it out but they're fine with me still and they are not alarmed and they're not jumping around so I'm very happy that I accomplished that I was feeling so bad because I spent so much time with them and they they were so scared when I opened the cage you know and that makes you feel bad because you're just like man you know like I spent so much time with them how come they're so scared of me still like I try to be around them a lot but they are still jumping around like crazy hurting themselves but yeah try that you know if you want them to be more comfortable with you just only offer them food when you're there or only offer them enough so that they know that when you come around their bellies will get full oh yeah so my vine quails are really weird because Sometimes I catch them doing weird things like at nighttime I have three different houses for them to live in but at nighttime sometimes when I walk by I catch them doing this <laughs> Like dude they literally all stuff themselves into the one to cuddle with each other and I'm just like why? <laughs> I don't know they're just so funny so uh, you guys probably noticed that I only have six button quills left and it's it's not that sad of a story like I didn't like they didn't die or anything but my uh, mom kept seeing me talk about my button quills and then she got really interested because they're so small right and they're so pretty and she she decided that she wanted a pair and she wanted one of the white ones and my wild type and I'll show you a picture later but so I don't have an update on those because my mom took them and I'm a little afraid because I don't I can't tell the gender of the white ones yet um but my mom says that they're not killing each other i recently called her and asked about the quails so this is the one that i gave her and one of the white ones so hopefully the white one is a female and then she can have a pair but if it's not then i would trade it for a different one and then this is the silver one that's growing very nicely and beautifully and this is my golden pearl. She's so pretty, but I don't know why her feathers keep like being missing. So I think that the other ones are just jealous that this one is so pretty and they just want to pluck out all her feathers. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I think they don't really like her. So they keep picking at her because all the other ones seem fine. But this one gets picked on a lot. Um, And then there's this one that's... Um, the male but this one was the one that didn't get along with that other gray one I had so I kind of suspected that when I reintroduced them all together so right now I have all six in this cage and for the first day or so that I had them put back together they kind of like kept to themselves but then now they all stay together in one And then this is the pretty speckled gray one that I had that was the attacker. And I still think it's a female. So maybe it's just the, you know, oldest and it just decides that it can be the boss of all the others. But I still think it's really pretty. It's just a little mean. Okay, so that is the end of my button quill. 
um, update and this is my enclosure that I'm still trying to grow the grass in this is actually an old picture there I didn't take a new picture but the grass is starting to grow and is being more established um and then when it gets more full of grass and other plants I will put the sand back into the star and then I will add chia plants and clover since the grass takes a little bit longer to grow um and yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time for another update on my button quills